Prostate Cancer Newest Therapy A new combo therapy for prostate cancer shows potential in clinical studies. This new therapy showing promise. A global, phase 3 clinical trial, TALAPRO2, evaluated whether the combination of two drugs, talazoparib and ensalutamide, may enhance clinical outcomes in adult men with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. When compared to placebo and ensalutamide, treatment with talazoparib and ensalutamide resulted in a 37% lower risk of cancer progression or death. The FDA's decision on whether or not to approve this combination therapy for the treatment of males with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer is expected in 2023. Prostate cancer is the second most frequent cancer in men in the United States after skin cancer, affecting one in every eight men, according to the American Cancer Society trusted source. Androgens, male hormones, like testosterone promote the growth of prostate cancer cells. Prostate cancer can grow even when testosterone levels in the blood are suppressed. Castration-resistant prostate cancer is the term for this. So the cancer can spread. Metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer occurs when cancer spreads from the prostate gland to other parts of the body, such as the lymph nodes and bones. There have been significant advancements in the treatment of metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer in recent years. Despite this advancement, existing medicines have a short-term effect, and the cancer might reappear following therapy. Pfizer researchers have created a new treatment for metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer by combining two existing drugs, talazoparib, talzina, and ensalutamide, Extandi. They tested the efficacy and safety of this combination therapy in a Phase 3 trial, TALAPRO2. Why this combination therapy? Ensalutamide is a type of hormone therapy approved for the treatment of prostate cancer in men. It works by preventing testosterone from being produced, which prevents prostate cancer cells from growing, even if they have spread to other parts of the body. Talazoparib belongs to the poly-ADP ribose polymerase PARP, inhibitor class of cancer medicines. PARP is an enzyme protein found in cells that helps damaged cells repair themselves. PARP inhibitors are used in cancer treatment to block the repair function of PARP in cancer cells, causing the cells to die. Talazoparib, a PARP inhibitor, is not currently approved for the treatment of prostate cancer, but it has been approved by the FDA trusted source for the treatment of germline, inherited, BRCA1 half mutated HER2 negative advanced breast cancer. Previous research when combined with drugs that block testosterone, PARP inhibitors may have potential benefits for the treatment of advanced prostate cancer, according to a trusted source. This led researchers at Pfizer to design a combination medication comprised of the PARP inhibitor talazoparib and the testosterone-blocking ensalutamide. What occurred during the research? The trial began in December 2017 and enrolled adult men from 26 countries with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. The participants were assigned at random to either talazoparib 0.5 mg mg and ensalutamide 160 mg once daily this applied to 402 participants or a placebo and ensalutamide 160 mg once daily this applied to 403 individuals the talapro2 trial sought to determine whether combining talazoparib with ensalutamide improves radiographic progression free survival rpfs or the amount of time patients live without their cancer worsening as compared to placebo plus ensalutamide. The researchers also analyzed the DNA from the cancer cells of all study participants to check if they had faulty DNA repair genes. A drug combination reduces the chance of cancer progression. Both treatment groups had identical median follow-up times, 24.9 months for the combination therapy group and 24.6 months for the placebo plus ensalutamide group. Talazoparib plus ensalutamide reduced the risk of disease progression or mortality by 37% compared to placebo and ensalutamide. This was true whether or not DNA repair gene mutations were present, a process known as homologous recombination repair trusted source. TALAPRO2 is the second randomized phase 3 trial to demonstrate a benefit with combination androgen receptor plus PARP inhibition in delaying RPFS in the first line metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. The delays in RPFS are clinically meaningful, 
ranging from over 50% relative improvements in HRR plus patients to 30 to 40% improvements in HRR undetected patients, explained Dr. Armstrong. TALAPRO2 findings differ from what was seen in the magnitude study with nirparib and abiraterone, where those without HRR deficiency, biomarker negative, were stopped early due to lack of efficacy. Data on overall survival were immature. At the time the trial findings were released, indicating that more time is needed to assess whether combination therapy with talazoparib and ensalutamide helped patients live longer lives than placebo and ensalutamide. Whether RPFS is sufficient or if there must also be a significant overall survival benefit to truly say that there is a therapeutic benefit. Given what we know about the side effects of PARP inhibitors, the significant anemia and neutropenia in the combination therapy group is not surprising, explained Dr. Zorko to MNT. He also emphasized that, the need for transfusions and dose discontinuation should be considered before beginning combination therapy, especially given that 49% of patients had anemia prior to therapy. Additionally, the time toxicity needed to receive transfusions and supportive care in the clinic may reduce the enthusiasm of patients for this oral combination regimen, he noted. Dr. Zorko further noted, in the study, only 5.2% of patients had been previously treated with abiraterone. Triple therapy docetaxel, abiraterone, and prednisone becomes more widely used in the metastatic, hormone-sensitive prostate cancer setting. We will see more patients in this space as they become castration-resistant, but whether this particular subgroup benefits remains to be seen.